question here. So we're trying to calculate producer, producer and consumer surplus just using algebra. Uh, one way to do this is to graph both of them and just calculate the triangles. Um, and just to review, consumer surplus is the, um, the value that consumers get from a market. So it's like the benefit um, from all of the consumers. It's the difference between their budget or their willingness to pay and what they actually pay the market price. Producer surplus is the difference between uh, their the seller's willingness to sell and the uh, actual market price that they that they will sell at. So it's a kind of a fancy way of saying profit. So first thing I want to do is find equilibrium price. If I'm given been given both of these algebraically, then I'm just going to set them equal to each other. So uh, at zero point five Q plus twenty. So that is the supply function and we'll set that equal to 2q plus 120 that's the demand function and uh, 2.5q is going to equal 100 and then the equilibrium quantity in this market is going to be uh, 40 okay so now we know that to find the um, uh, equilibrium price just plug in 40 you can do it to either one so P equals negative two. So just plug it in like this. Twenty. Okay, and that's going to equal forty. If just to prove it to you, um, I'll do that on the supply side too. So that is um, zero point five forty. Whoops. Plus. 20 and also going to equal 40. So 40 is the equilibrium price uh, and 40 coincidentally is also the quantity. Okay. Now what I have to do is calculate the consumer surplus. So the consumer surplus is going to be um, one half, whatever the, uh, the difference in price. Okay. And it's the difference in price between what's called the reservation price. That's the most they're willing to pay. So it'll be the difference between 120 and uh, 40, because that's what they will pay. And then the difference between uh, quantities. So quantity zero uh, is going to be 120. So it's the difference between zero and 40. Okay. So uh, that's how to do this. So we'll just do uh, consumer surplus is going to equal 120 minus 40. Okay. Because that's the, oops. That's the difference there. Uh, and then times the difference in quantities. So that's 40, sorry about that, 40 minus zero, okay? All divided by two, okay? So this is really um, 80 times 40, and then one half of that, just calculate that out at 1600, okay? On the producer side, this is going to be the difference between 40 and 20. And the reason it's 20 is because that 20 is the, um, the price has to be at least 20 for the sellers to sell any of the products. I'll multiply that by, uh, it's again, the difference in quantities. Okay. And then all of that is, is cut in half because this is a triangle. So the producer surplus is uh, 400, okay? And you can compare them, and this is why we do this. Uh, the consumer surplus is bigger than the producer surplus, so we've got that. And if you want to check your work, just plug them both into a graphing calculator, and then you can see the, uh, the, the difference there. There you go.